Hey guys, and here we are back with another one and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today I'm really happy to share with you guys that in my opinion it is a game-changing day for those of you that love like I do game streaming. Now we have been trying game streaming since ever and for those of you that are wondering hey Robert why you are so happy if we have been doing game streaming for the last three four years here on the channel and we have tried almost anything that is there to try and that is the point we have tried almost anything and so far we were very limited especially in the hardware section now before we move on for those of you that are new to the channel Basically, game streaming is the ability to use our computer on the network to be able to play a game, but instead of playing on the uh, computer itself, we can play it on a mobile device or an Android TV box connected to a big screen TV. And that is just awesome. And we have been doing so for the past, I don't know, three to four years, like I said. But as I said as well, we were very limited. To be able to have the best experience possible, what we have done so far, and links down below for all the tests that we have done on Windows, on Linux, on Android, and so on, uh, we needed a NVIDIA GPU, and then we needed to use the Moonlight app on the Android side to have the best experience. Now, I know that some will say, hey, Robert, but there are some other applications, and once again, we have tried them all, and the results were not the same. We were always losing anywhere. We were losing on the UI, we were losing on the user experience, the way that we played with things and the graphics and there was some always a catch uh, that we had using those third-party apps which were great. Have in mind it was a workaround but today I'm really happy once again to say that that is over especially because I can use any hardware that I want. Now in the past for example I needed a NVIDIA GPU to have the best experience possible on the game stream and when I see an NVIDIA GPU it couldn't be just any GPU. For example, I've got a 960 right over here, but I also have two laptops right over here, which have the NVIDIA MX150, which is a laptop GPU. And although it's not a huge GPU in terms of performance, it's capable of playing games, as we have seen on these two laptops. Links down below for everything that I've used. And what I can say is that they could not do game streaming because these GPUs are not certified by NVIDIA to be able to game stream. So right now, what I can say is that with the Steam Link app, uh, all we need to do is to install on any Android device, either a phone or a uh, Android TV box, and we can enjoy any hardware that we have. So all the tests, and some of them I'm sure that you already have seen, today I've been running on my AMD GPU. And why I'm using an AMD GPU, that's the conversation for the next video. But Spoiler alert, Akintosh. Nonetheless, there are several reasons to use an AMD GPU or to have a computer that doesn't have any GPU at all, like a MacBook Pro, but is still capable of playing some games and I can enjoy right now those games on a uh, mobile device or an Android TV box. Also will be available on iOS and Apple TV, which I will cover in a few days when the app is available. Now guys, in terms of experience, what I can say is that comparing with what I've been using so far in terms of quality, in terms of the gameplay, which I can refer by using the NVIDIA GPU and the Moonlight app, what I can say with the Steam Link app, we can get the same level of performance with the advantage that we can use any hardware that we have available. So guys, one of the things that I would like to ask you is instead of uh, listening to me and hearing which I do appreciate, I would invite you guys to test out GameStream. Doesn't matter what the hardware that you have, any computer that you have uh, with the AMD GPU, with the NVIDIA GPU, with no GPU, well, the integrated GPU, and then streaming to a mobile device or to an Android TV box. And of course, if possible, leaving your comments down below, sharing with the community what hardware are you using and the feedback that you guys uh, can give in terms of your user experience. Now, I do believe that the app will need some improvements. Actually, it's called better for some reason, 
but so far it's working great. And for those of you that are looking at some images that have uh, the data on the screen, that was, or well, that is an option. And I was using it to measure if there was any failures, any glitches and whatnot. What I can say is that it works great if we are using the Ethernet connection, like I was on the Minix U9H. But if we are on the Wi-Fi, as usual, uh, it will depend on our network. And sometimes we will have a loss here and there. Nothing huge. I was using the Xiaomi Mi 6, which has a great uh, Wi-Fi coverage. I've got a great Wi-Fi network here at my home. So as you guys may imagine, I did have a great experience and I'm really happy to share with you guys these news which i do believe that are groundbreaking and what i mean by that word is not that someone has discovered something but they have lift a lot of limitations that we had and now we can enjoy our hardware doesn't matter if we are on the red team on the green team if we are on no team at all we can enjoy ourselves with game stream and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one